How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ingersoll from IGS. Let's join us. And today we're going to be finishing off our Nidec uh, Control Techniques S100 drive. And today's job is for us to check out how to set up the drive in a. Uh are uh, in many cases called MLP speed control, which we're using the two buttons, up and down buttons, to control the speed. And also, we're going to be checking out how to set up a uh, drive up to uh, run in a multi frequency mode so we can select speeds by switches. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, if you missed out the other videos, there's going to be in the description below. So do check it out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. <music> Before we get started, I quickly want to show you some cool features about this drive. So, uh, not the drive, but the app itself. So, uh, let me load up the app. As you can see, I'm in error. So, you should be able to see that. The E093. Uh, that's to do with uh, to do with something to do with EMC and things like that. But uh, but I spoke to an iDeck and iDeck said, look, uh, that's to do with the it needs, it needs a further firmware update. It's nothing to do with the drive itself. And uh, unfortunately, they said, and I apologize, saying the drive somehow managed to make, make it to me. Without having been updated, so we will get this error will disappear because it's, it's, it usually disappears with time. But that gives us an opportunity to quickly have a look at another feature of the app. So continue as a guest. So uh, let's uh, read the information from the drive. And there we go. Once we did that, as you can see, it's now showing you your drive is in error state. Let's have a click on it and let's have a look at it. So uh, and there's also the troubleshooting guy next slide. But first, what we're going to do we're going to click on the drive error. By clicking on drive error is going to give you the full-blown explanation and suggestion what to do about it. How cool is that? So this is why this app is really, really good. And it will record all the previous errors as well. If, I guess you can see, it's been happening quite a couple of times for me. So it will tell you a, uh, uh, all the previous ones as well. How cool is that? So for now, I have to wait till this uh, till this error. I don't know what's going on in that system down there, which allows me to reset that error. But so hopefully you appreciate that kind of feature part of the app. So here we go. So that's really cool. All right, to get ourselves started, let's go to our app. And again, guys, if you haven't watched the previous videos, definitely do check it out so you understand where we're what we're doing in here and how we got to this point. So uh, first thing we want to do because it's up and down control, we're going to go for speed control first. And in the speed control, we need to have a look at it to find if there's anything for us to be able to select that. So, uh, where was the current preset? Keypad. There we go. Terminal up and down. T15 digital input 5 and T11 digital input 1 are used to control up and down percentage. How about that? There's more in here if you want to check it out. But we're going to click on to that one. So, uh, let's apply. Apply and let's have a look at our uh, wiring diagram now. So uh, in our wiring diagram, as you can see, the our uh, the whole uh, diagram has changed. It's really pretty much telling telling us since uh, up uh, up is going to be eleven, down is going to be our uh, fifteen, reverse is going to be our uh, fourteen, and uh, mm, what we're going to do? We're going to change uh, change the because this this is still in for the three wire control. If you want to stay with that, stay with that, but not for my station because my station looks like that. So uh, it's a select switch, forward, reverse, and up and down buttons. So I want a little bit different. So I'm going to go to my IOs in here, so digital, and I'm going to change that to be. Did it, did it, did it. Uh, what are we gonna go? Because it's already telling me in here. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna go. Uh, this one is gonna be a uh, run forwards. And uh, we're gonna change that one to run reverse. Apply. And uh, this this one in here, what are we gonna do that none in there? Because I don't need that digital image for my specific as you can see, you can put all sorts of things in there. That's down to your application. I don't need it. So where is it? Is a none and apply and let's click. Okay. So I'm happy with that. So apply to us uh, our, our, our diagram in here. Let's check our diagram now. So diagram is sort of still in your what it was. As you can see, the analog part of it has been removed automatically by the app and uh, the whole settings inside. So 11 is going to be run forward. I'll tell you one thing. We, what we're doing because we're using a we're using a, um, a e-stop. So how about we put at a 
uh, enable on it as well so for that free t14 that we have left so hardware enable how about that so let's do that one so we put that one on there so here we go so that's us uh, our uh, application so let's transfer right that to the drive so let's do that there we go all that got transferred into uh, the drive only things left now we need to wire it in cool right all right so let's talk about a little bit about the wiring as you can see my terminal uh, 9 which is my supply goes to my e-stop goes via the e-stop and goes back to which one we have set up as enable remember the diagram and do do come back if you want to see it in a wiring diagram it's all there so uh from there on it comes through the e-stop then it sort of sends a, sends a power to all the other switches in the switches correspondingly on our wiring diagram that we just saw we send it back to the terminals right down here very straightforward i don't think there's anything else much to say so let's put the cover on and see how that works so here we are so let's check out our station out so uh forward speed control as you can see i'm going down Hopefully you can see on the screen, I know it's not the greatest screen, and it's slowly going down as we hold it. And the same goes with up, locks each other out if the both switches are on, and so on, standard. But, before we finish up with the station, I'll show you a couple of more other cool features in, within the app. So there we are. So, uh, we're going to go into parameters, and I have put something in my favorite parameters, and those parameters are called up and down uh, percentage configuration. And up and down time to max sort of time to max it tells you how sensitive the buttons are going to be so let's change that one to i don't know mini minimum let's let's put down to 10 seconds okay so sort of a sort of a reaction time i would call it so uh, let's apply that thing another thing you can see in here is up and down to uh configuration at the moment it says in here what's going to happen with the preset speed with the speed that you have uh finished off when you power up the drive it says in there up and down percentage set to zero at power up and there's several options for everybody's likings down there there's quite a lot of us uh, not quite it's about five options now you can choose how this frequency is dealt with on power ups or on stoppages and things like that do check it out so it's really really cool so uh let's write that into our, our drive right down here there we go so now we transfer that one to the drive and see how sensitive the buttons are now so uh let's go forward again as you can see i'm going up much quicker now so yeah that's for those who want to change the speed so as again uh now the control technique more or less has thought of everything that you would need to operate this drive. So next up, let's check out multi-frequency control. Okay, so for the multi-frequency control, I debated how many uh, different ways of how to approach it. So the station is going to look like that. We're going to have a run, speed 1, speed 2, speed 3. There are several ways to do it, and I decided to go the simplest way that the NIDA would uh, is, is presetting it rather than because I did I, I, I set up this on, on a custom way and things like that, it works, but I, th I thought I'm gonna stick to the simplicity. So, this is what I did. So, uh, first we go into the speed, and in the speed reference, we go into T15, which is a preset 4, which is T15 digital input 5 and 11 inputs are used as a binary switches. So, how the way they work is it, it creates the sums of uh, let's say uh, we put a, a run it's going to be one and then we're going to uh, put speed two is going to be two when you when we join these two together it's going to be three so i'll show you to me how that works so basically i chose this option i applied it and there on uh, obviously you still need as well uh, give it some form of run run class is a speed one so this is what i've done in here so i want to click that one and he already assigned, I remember, T11, T15 for the for the binary switch. So reference switch for the bit 0 and reference switch to put the, uh, bit 1. I already added in there. Another thing I have added is a uh, hardware enable for my e-stop right down here. And also a uh, run signal. This is something that is required for it to run. So that's how I set up this up. And before we get started as well, I'll quickly show you in the parameters. I have put my parameters as well into my favorites. As you can see in here, you have your presets as a uh, speed one, two, three, and four. I will be accessing all four of them. What I'm gonna do, because 
because I don't want the drive to the motor to move to uh, at all when I put into a run mode I'm gonna change that one to zero so uh, again it's very much for specific applications let's apply and let's transfer it uh, to, to the drive you good doing it come on here we go it's going into so I don't want my drive to run, so I can change that to zero. So my free uh, frequency is going to be a uh, two, three, and four. And how that would work, I'll show you that now. So before we get jump onto the actual wiring on the control station down there, let's have a look at our wiring diagram in here. As you can see, it shows you in here where everything should be going. So it just follow this diagram and you should have no problem whatsoever. So when it comes down to wiring to my station, let's have a look at it as we always do. So uh, I will have again a terminal 9 coming to my e-stop, go through e-stop and goes back to my hardware enable. From there on from the e-stop goes through all, the, all these uh, switches in here. So my uh, binary 0 is going to be at uh, this switch binary one on this switch and had the way it would work as you can see I had sorry sorry binary one on this one and binary uh, zero on this one but this is gonna be my run so as you can see then that's, that's uh, the uh, combination that we are gonna be playing with so as you can see in here I have added another double switch down the end which which basically when the switch on EE closes Closes the bit zero and bit one to generate at the fourth speed. So uh, it's basically going from here to this one, and this one goes to this one. It's quite straightforward. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's try it out and see how that works. So here we are. So uh, first things first, we're going to put in the run mode. Remember, the run is our first speed, and our first speed in here is a zero. So from there on, we're going to put into a speed two, which is going to be our just uh, this guy in here, which is the 10 hertz, which is our in our in 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 this app is a speed two, but for us is a speed one. Again, it's depending on your uh, setup. Can you see the speeds? Yes, you can. So from there, on, I can turn off and go into a, a speed two. For, for for my application and then we can go into a speed 3 which is a 50 as my phone going down so uh, and as, as a basically the way it works is the combination of switches so uh, the bit 1 so bit 0 is going to be our um, uh, speed uh, speed 2 in our uh, well speed 1 Bit two, uh, bit uh, one is going to be our speed two, and bit uh, I can even do achieve bit speed three when it's bit one zero and bit one are switched on together. So it's like a combination. So pretty much that is how that would work. Hopefully that makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. So let me just swap the uh, camera. That'll be it for this drive. This drive is packed with everything you're going to need. And hopefully you're going to enjoy it as much as I have. So that will do. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And do subscribe if you're new to your channel. And also like it if you like the video. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next video.